This is the OG tubing roller that we use to build most of the track. What we've done is we've flipped it on its side and then we've added this piece of it, which is another hydraulic jack that is welded to a guide wheel here, a steel guide wheel, and we can push this piece of pipe up after it comes out of the primary bend. So we can bend it one time across what let's call the X axis, and then when it hits this wheel, we can bend it again off the Y axis. And so you might use this to build a spiral staircase or a spring or any other piece of metal that you wanted to bend into a spiral. You know what would be really great is a CNC machine, a computer numeric control machine, because computing, <laughs> it's absolutely guessing. Uh, the goal here is to get a 20 foot long piece of pipe that is the top of the barrel roll. Uh, I have no idea if it's gonna work out. We're gonna try it right now. You ready, John? Let's give it a shot. We're just gonna like pull the trigger and, and see what happens. Will, what's going on? <sighs> this is, uh, we're learning how to operate our new machine. Because apparently when we built it, we built it without an operator's manual. Oh, we don't, we don't know how to work it. All right, John. Okay. Oh. You ready? <laughs> sure that that thing is not yeah. moving. You're doing a great job at it too. All right, so we do have some we do have some really good news. If you bend the thing up 1 inch per foot over 20 feet. Uh-huh. We get what we want. You get 20 inches of rise, rise <laughs> which is about effing useless. All right, so that was the epic tubing bender failure. I cannot begin to tell you how excited we were about this device before we tried to use it. <laughs> so thankfully, that's all the time we have for today. Thankfully, that's all we have time for today. Thank you for helping me bring physical family fun and business. Kids everywhere. I'm Will Pemble, the Go Boss. John Elliott. We'll see you soon.